name is Eric Schultz. I'm the founder and CEO of Thrive. I'm Lynn Kincannon from the U.S. and I work for Thrive as a director. The core purpose of the Thrive Project in Vietnam and, and across the world is to create a culture of social responsibility in small business. To help small businesses grow in the developing world. Building prosperity and local philanthropy in developing countries around the world, that's the mission of Thrive, a U.S.-based organization. Throughout the past years, Thrive has reached out to different countries, including Nicaragua, Palestine, Kenya, helping the people there get out of poverty. Instead of giving money to the poor and the disadvantaged, Thrive, with its motto, Invigorating Small Business, Inspiring Social Change, how small businesses grow through loans in machinery and makes them pay by doing social activities. Vietnam, since the opening to the world decades ago, has gained impressive growth with changes can be seen in every aspect. The economy develops, the living standard increases, and the images of a war-torn nation gradually disappear. And the support of foreign organizations like Thrive is also an important factor to the society. After nine years of operation, Thrive has successfully supported 80 businesses, generated over 1,200 jobs, and presented product donation to nearly 100,000 people in 21 northern provinces. The organization, among others, has brought positive impacts to the lives of the people in Vietnam, especially children, women, and people with disability. Welcome to another show of Ace by Living. And the clip you just watched, I believe, has given you some ideas about the wonderful things that Thrive, with their tireless effort, has done around the world. And a few years ago, Thrive arrived in Vietnam. And now let's get to know about how their story started in the country. With the normalization of Vietnam-U.S. relations and the integration of Vietnam's economy to the world, Eric Schultz, CEO of Thrive, decided to travel to the country and then set up a project there in 2005. My father came up with the Thrive idea uh, as a way to stimulate economic development through free markets in countries that were in transition. So when Vietnam became open, began opening up, it fit our profile of a country in transition that we wanted to help along that path. Arriving in Vietnam, Thrive contacted with CEDS, or the Center for Economic Development Studies of Vietnam at the National University, and persuaded the center staff to support the project. We had contacts at Vietnam National University, Hanoi, and we explained the concept to them. The Center for Economic Devel Development Studies, CEDS, at VNU. And they were very excited to experiment with hosting this program and to see if it would work in the, the Vietnamese context. After setting up the project in Vietnam, Lynn and Eric, the director and CEO of Thrive, have annually traveled to Vietnam, doing a lot of field trips to businesses and individuals to see if they can lend them a hand contributing to their development and at the same time encouraging more people to join the cause of helping the unfortunate lives in the country. Eric is a person with disability himself, but never does he consider this a reason to slow him down. Every time coming to Vietnam, 
He joins with other members of Thrive in all visits to businesses, which aims to give them more information to decide which business would be eligible for their loans. So we visit each business at their place of business and interview the owner and talk about our criteria and how they match up with it and get to know the owner and the business a little better. Make sure what they're telling us is not different from what they wrote on paper for the application. And just to get that personal uh, knowledge of, of how the business works. Today, Eric and his team visit iNature Organic Food Farm, a farm that operates with a clean and zero-waste strategy in Bavet District, Hanoi. Knowing about the motto since 2011, Chang, former student of Hanoi University of Agriculture, set up a farm for her own. And then, she sent her application to Thrive to get additional support. When I get the support of Thrive, I will invest in my machine. First of all, in the process of cleaning and cleaning the food. Because the distance between Ba Vy and Hà Nội is quite far. So I need to increase the production of the food to increase the production of the food to make the food clean for the consumer. After the talk with business owners, members of Thrive do a quick tour around the farm to get a closer look at the business operation. While making assessment about the efficiency, business owners are also asked to give a detailed plan about what they can do to help other people after they get the loans. All these factors count when it comes to the process of voting afterwards. The final interview is a big part of the process. And then, together with our partners, we vote democratically. Each of the five people get one, one, one vote and one score per business. Then we collectively add it together. Uh, in, in that way, the businesses are ranked based on a, a very democratic process. The next stop for Thrive is A&D Joy Stock Company, a metalwork and automation business. According to the director of this small business, everything is fine with the current production scale. But since he's already involved in a number of social activities, he wants to get some loans so that he can expand production and help more people. ra kế hoạch của mình nếu mà có sự trợ giúp thì với những cái vốn như thế thì mình đầu tư vào cái máy máy móc để tăng cái năng suất lao động lên và cũng để tăng cái con người lên kế hoạch trả nợ thì thực ra cái vốn vay thì không phải lớn trên cái kế hoạch thì đối với những cái doanh nghiệp như mình thì chắc chắn không không có gì phải khó khăn về cái kế hoạch trả nợ này. Coming to Hoài Đức District, Hanoi, Eric visits Hồng Hà Joy Stock Company a government business that employs people with disability. Ha, the owner of the company, is a person with disability, opened the company since 2005 with 20 workers. But with more competition in the government sector and the business gets tough, Ha seeks for help and finally thrives answers his call. Qua một số thông tin trên internet và bạn bè giới thiệu thì tôi có được biết đến doanh nghiệp Thrive này là một trong những cái đơn vị hỗ trợ cho các doanh nghiệp xã hội như chúng tôi. Thì tôi mong muốn là qua đây chúng tôi được vay vốn không lại không lãi suất để chúng tôi nâng cao cái khả năng cạnh tranh với các cái đối tác khác để chúng tôi có được cái thế mạnh hơn trong sản xuất để chúng tôi có được nhiều hợp đồng hơn, tạo thêm nhiều việc làm hơn cho các đối tượng khó khăn trên địa bàn. For a long time, Thrive has tried to support a variety of businesses in different sectors like agriculture, garment, or industrial production. Businesses that are labor-intensive and provide jobs to disadvantaged people like Hong Ha Garment Company are quite likely to receive loans from Thrive. The garment makers, those people create a lot of jobs because every time you buy them a sewing machine, they hire someone to work that machine, and I saw um, an interesting business that was owned by a handicapped owner and he 
can add jobs and train other handicapped people in his area to work so that they can become productive members of their families and help the family out too. Every single business, if qualified, could receive from 5,000 to 10,000 US dollars loans in machinery and equipment. By the ninth year of operation, dozens of Vietnamese businesses have benefited from Thrive support, bringing changes to tens of thousands of lives across Vietnam. With the tireless efforts of the members of Thrive, hundreds of Vietnamese businesses in the past years have had access to loans, which is very important for them to expand the production, earn more profits. But that's not the ultimate goal of Thrive. After this process, those businesses have to fulfill the plans that they propose to Thrive, which is paying back to the community. And this whole process is also closely monitored by Thrive to ensure that their money is going to the right addresses. Apart from visiting new businesses, Eric and Lynn also come to businesses that receive their loans. Grandpa's Garden is one such business. Doang Tu is the director of this cosmetics business. Succeeded to get the loans from Thrive, she expanded her shop, hired more employees, and boost sales via online channels. Thrive đã uh, cho Grandpa's Garden vay 5.000 uh, đô để uh, nhằm mục đích là mua trang thiết bị máy móc. Bên mình có mua bốn uh, cái máy tính, một cái lò nướng và một máy ép dầu, một máy in. Thì những có có những cái thì sẽ phục vụ cho việc là bên mình sẽ uh, tự sản xuất ra các dầu thực vật ở của Việt Nam với nguyên vật liệu của Việt Nam để làm những cái dầu thực vật đấy thì uh, thì chúng ta sẽ không phải phụ thuộc vào nguyên liệu của nước ngoài. Ngoài ra thì uh, có một số trang thiết bị phục vụ cho việc là hỗ trợ cho các học viên tìm cách để bán hàng online tức là cho họ một cái tìm cho họ những cái công cụ online tốt để từ đấy họ có thể bán hàng của họ. Apart from running a business, Thu also held classes on cosmetic making. Some of those classes are free of charge for learners who are people with disability or single moms. Thì cái lớp học này mình nhận từ chỗ em phí. Cái này là rất tốt cho những người như em. Mình có thể là mình phải một chút về thu nhập. Cái khóa học này đem lại cho bản thân mình một cái sự hiểu biết về mỹ phẩm và làm cho cuộc sống mình có thêm một cái thu nhập. It's had a profound impact on their lives, either giving them skills to get jobs or generate income for themselves, or through product donations, keeping more money in the pocket of the family so they can take care of other, other needs. So that, that, is, that is the most rewarding part, coming back to see the long-term results. Phuc Thuệ Center is home to around 80 children who suffer from mental health issues such as autism or Down syndrome. According to the director of the center, there have been a lot of problems they have to face to keep the facility running for the past 13 years. And recently, the burden is partly lifted since the center is included in the list of destinations that receive help from businesses supported by Thrive. Họ đã có một cái tấm lòng, một cái trái tim. Đúng là trái tim rất là rộng mở và họ yêu thương mọi người. Unofficial data shows that there are around 200 social businesses in Vietnam, and until now, there are not yet support policy from the government. Therefore, the support of business from organizations like Thrive would definitely bring about considerable impacts. What I'm driven to do is to grow the size of the Thrive program in Vietnam so that we can reach more businesses and maybe start reaching uh, far greater numbers of people that are really in need through those through that business charity that we that we promote through the program help the business grow they create jobs they help poor people and the people they help help other people win win what could be better Eric and Lynn rarely have time for sightseeing when they are in Vietnam. 
Meeting with businesses, finding solutions to improve the lives of unfortunate people have filled up the schedule in the country. And even if they have a moment for their own, it won't be long because they know there are people out there who need the helping hand. Thank you.